Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to have a look at Endgame number 11 from the book 100 Endgames You Must Know by Jesus de la Vila. This is a must-read book for all club chess players who would like to improve the chess endgames. I would leave a link in case you would like to purchase a book for yourself. In this position, um, we are going to have a look of a position where knight versus a knight pawn. In the previous example, in game number 10, we had a look at if the pawn is between C and F files, then um, the knight can have lateral control of the queening square to draw the position. That is false when it comes to a knight pawn. We'll have a look at it. Now it's black's turn to move, so black plays B2, which is the correct move, and knight D2, check having lateral control of the queening square the correct move for black is king c1 what happens if black plays king c2 if that's a case it's a draw how can white draw this position by playing knight c4 attacking the pawn and if the pawn queens then it's a fork and it's a draw so going back to this position king c1 is the correct move and after that knight plays knight b3 king d1 and uh, it's, a, it's an easy win for black. If the pawn was in between C and F files, then obviously knight would have had another uh, an extra square uh, to, um, uh, to go to to attack the queening square. But because it's a, a knight pawn, that square is not available. And as a, as a result, um, uh, white is lost in this position. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos like this, please like and subscribe and it's bye for now.